is it. Welcome to Weathersfield, a little town in southeastern Vermont. And it's also home to Lisa Mayer. She's got a workshop here, and she makes floor coverings that a lot of homes probably haven't seen in almost 150 years. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Lisa. Thanks for having us back. Good to see you again. Hey, Lisa. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Wow, so this is the showroom workshop, huh? Beautiful. Thank you. So I have to admit, this is sort of new to me, at least, uh, the floor cloth. Mm -hmm. What are they exactly? Well, it's a painted canvas rug, and they go back to before the 1800s, but in the early 1800s, they were very popular. And then linoleum came along and sort of scratched them out. But uh, <laughs> we're, we're working to bring them back. Okay. The finish that we put on top makes them extremely durable mm. and easy to clean. So linoleum comes along and maybe they fade away, but now they're coming back, or at least within your world coming back? Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is? The customization is the key, that I can do all kinds of different designs, and um, the sky's the limit. It's right. literally a blank canvas. Can we see how they're made and see how durable they are? Absolutely. Oh, the workshop. So this is where we make everything before it gets painted. Okay. And what is the raw material here? Well, this is a heavyweight canvas, much, much heavier than artist grade canvas. And the paint's going on right here. What is this that she's putting down? It's a enamel exterior marine grade paint. It's what you put on boats. Oh, wow. And All right. It's, uh, the reason that that works so well is it stays very flexible. So it won't crack when we roll these to ship them. Mm -hmm. And if they move around on the floor, that can cause them to crack if you don't use very flexible paint. Then what do you do to it? Then we cut it to size and we hem it on a heavy duty sewing machine. Just around the perimeter, obviously. Yeah. After we, we prime it and hem it, we sand it. And Come then on, you <laughs> sand the canvas? We sand it to just take that tooth off. Um, and then we put a base coat on and then we sand it again. <laughs> so this is a real craft. I mean, this is labor intensive. It, it takes a lot of time. <laughs> yes. So once the floor cloth is all prepped, it comes over here, and I start laying out the design and start painting it. And for each piece, I have a printout that I've generated, mm -hmm. and it's made to scale. From that piece of paper, though, to this canvas, everything is by hand. Exactly. Wow. And how's mine coming along? Yours is almost done. It's just waiting for its final coat of clear coat. Do you want to go see? Yeah. So here it is, all ready for its final coat of clear coat. Catherine, the oh, big wow. reveal. Ooh. Huh? What do you think? Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. I really love it. So Amanda, you had a hand in designing this. What was the thought? Right. Well, Catherine had told me that her family's always had yellow kitchens. So we're not going to have yellow walls, but this is our yellow, uh, bringing it in with the floor cloth. And then uh, this just goes along with the whole design for the house where we're using old things but updating them. Yes. So this is something that, you know, the floor cloth was used during Victorian times and we're updating it with a, a contemporary wide stripe pattern. Beautiful. And Lisa, you say it needs, what, another coat? But to my eye, I mean, that looks finished. It has two coats already of a gloss finish and then it will get a third coat of a semi-gloss finish just to dull it down a little bit and to give it that one extra coat of protection. And so when that goes on, we can let it dry and then it can come down to the house? Absolutely. All right, excited for that. Thank you for the tour, teaching us what floor cloth is, and we're looking forward to having this back at the house. Great. All right, thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Thank you.